welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are quickly introducing our brand new paper collection Sweater Weather Remix. We have this in both 12 by 12 and 6 by 6 sizes, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. First, we're going to take a look at the collection pack, and the collection pack has the 12 by 12 papers, and you get two of each for a total of 12 sheets. So we're going to open this up and check out these beautiful fall themed designs. First up, we have the Breezy Remix, and this one has a beautiful fall and acorn pattern on the front, and this great little kind of chevron pattern on the back. Here we have Crisp with some adorable apples, and as you flip it over, you get this really awesome blue hound's tooth. Our next paper is the Brisk Paper, which says Sweater Weather Cozy Love. It's so cute and so fun. And as you put it on the back, we've got this great notebook lined paper that I just adore with those hearts in the corner. This, this is Chill Remix with that awesome argyle pattern. And as you turn it over, it's this brown plaid that might be one of my favorites in the collection. Here is Sunny Remix and it's got sunflowers. So this paper has my heart. And as we flip it over, we get this really gorgeous golden yellow polka dot. And then the last paper is Cold Snap, and it has this beautiful quilted pattern on the front, and then this gorgeous maroon color on the back. And then as you can see here in the collection pack, then you get a whole nother pack of those papers. So you're gonna get 12 papers total. And you'll notice that this collection is called a remix. So Sweater Weather was a collection from way back when, one of my favorites. We had a ton of requests to bring it back, so we kind of modernized it and brought it back and I just adore it. And then here is a look at the fronts of the papers and then of course of the B-sides. And the colors are so fun to mix and match together. And I love that the B-sides are a little bit more solid. The A-sides are a little bit more of a pattern. So you can use the backs as a solid and then the patterns as an accent, which is really fun. Now, another way to get these papers is in 12 packs, meaning you get 12 of the same paper. This is really great. Like if you're doing invitations or mass producing cards, you can get a bunch of just the one design. And then here are all the A and B sides lined up so you can see how they mix and match. I love how you can mix the colors together or you could stick just into like the oranges and reds or just the blues and greens. So you can really have a lot of fun with it. Then here is a look at the six by six pad and there are 36 sheets in this collection. So you get three of each of the patterns and the patterns have been reduced down by about 50%. So they're at a smaller scale. So depending upon your project, it might be great to use one or the other. So we've got those beautiful fall leaves and that green chevron type paper, our crisp apples. And then next up we have that blue hound's tooth with I just love it. This is our sweater weather word paper and our notebooks line paper, which is so fun and sweet. We have this this great argyle that kind of reminds me of fall socks and then this wonderful brown plaid that makes a great ground. We have our sunny sunflowers and then that golden yellow polka dot that's just gorgeous. We have our quilted paper and then that beautiful maroon checked pattern and then here you can see that those patterns are going to repeat. It's going to repeat two more times and you're going to have a total of 36 sheets. Now we're going to show you a comparison between the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 scale so you can see the difference between the two. So there you can see we have that smaller pattern or larger pattern and it's really just going to depend on your card design or if you're making something larger or if you're maybe making a box you might want to use the bigger paper so there's lots of choices here. And then here just for another little scale we're going to compare those apples. So we have our 6 by 6 apples and then our 12 by 12 apples and so you can see the big difference in size there and I love having both options. Next up, we have two quick pattern paper projects for you. And first up, I'm gonna take the small stitched envelope and I'm gonna line it up on this quilted paper. And it's one of my favorite papers, it's so pretty. I'm gonna run that through the die cut machine and now I'm gonna have this perfect little envelope. And this envelope is the perfect size for a gift card. So the die has created some score lines for me. There's got some tabs on the left and right and then we're also gonna fold the bigger pieces on the top and bottom. Next, I'm gonna take some strong quarter inch double sided tape and we're gonna add pieces on the left and right of that bottom flap. Then we can peel up the liner paper and we're gonna attach those to the tab. And that's gonna form this little pocket, almost like a cute little wallet there. You can see how that's forming. Now to create kind of like a little almost button closure, I'm taking a small heart die. Um, I just looked through my die sets and there's a lot of hearts in our die sets. So I just picked a cute little heart. I die cut the back of the paper, which is that beautiful pink. So I know it's going to coordinate with it. We're going to add some liquid glue with the glue tube and just put that right there. So to me, it's almost like this little button closure on my cute little gift card wallet. 
Now for the front, I wanted it to have a monogram feel. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick out the letter B because I'm making this for my friend Becca. And so we're gonna take that B and we're gonna die cut it from that same pink, which is the B side of this paper. So I only took out one sheet of paper to make this and we only used a little bit of it too. And then we're gonna layer that B with some liquid glue on the front. And so it's gonna be this cute little monogrammed wallet. Next up, I'm going to take a small glue dot here and we're gonna put that right at the tip of this little kind of flap over fancy design there. Then I'm gonna take my finger and tap it a bunch of times to remove some of the stick and that's gonna make it so that it closes it but not permanently. It means you can open and close it. I'm gonna take my little gift card here and we're gonna pop that inside. And now you'll see we have this really cute little stitched envelope. And as you open it, you can take out the gift card and then it has that really cute monogram on the front. So it's just a nice and cute way to present someone with a special gift. Now Shari is gonna show us how to make a very cute pattern paper house. So take it away, Shari. So I'm going to make a card using the Sweater Weather Remix. This is one of my favorite pattern paper collections, so I'm really glad to see that it's back. And one of my very favorite patterns in this, this collection is this one right here that looks like a quilt. So what I've done is I've pulled out some of the patterns that are more what I would call solid colors, and I'm going to make a card inspired by a quilt square. So I'm going to make a build a house house out of these pattern papers so that it looks like an image that's been quilted together. I'm using the outside in stitch rectangle to line up with that quilted pattern so I get my background and then I've cut all my pieces from all those colors I showed earlier. So I've used the grassy border dye on the green and also cut that out with that same rectangle so I have that fun stitching detail around all the sides. And then I also like that parts of the build a house die has stitching details as well. So that really goes along with the quilt theme that I'm going for here. I decided to cut out the inside of the windows with that same quilt pattern paper so that it looks consistent across the whole thing. I thought about using some solids, but I just wanted to use all pattern paper on this card. And I really like the look of that quilt behind those windows. It worked out perfectly that you ended up with one square in each of the openings of those windows. So I'm using the red for all the window frames as well as the door. We've got that blue that has the houndstooth pattern. That's for my roofs. Of course, that green is the grass. I'm also using the blue for the base of my house so that it stands out from the grass. And then I decided to cut the little steps as well from that same blue. I found the teeny tiniest little button in my craft stash and I'm using that for the doorknob and I just thought that would be a cute little detail since sewing and quilting is sort of the theme behind this card. I'm going to go ahead and attach my grass to the bottom of this quilt panel and put that onto a craft card base. So I get that nice little craft border around it because I use that outside end stitch rectangle to cut that out. And then I can just add my house. Now because those steps are kind of hanging out down there at the bottom because it's stacked up with so many layers of die cut paper, I'm just stacking two little pieces of cardstock to tuck behind there and support that bottom part of the steps. Now you could add a sentiment if you liked, but I like the look of this just staying like it's a quilt. So I've cut out some hearts out of that red pattern paper using the hearts from the skinny tag with hearts and stars die. And I'm just placing those in the sky above my house. Now you'll notice that I am actually lining up the center of the hearts on the lines of the grid that's created with that back pattern piece of paper. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I thought it would be fun to add some faux stitching just drawn in. Like these little hearts are hanging from the top, but it just adds even more stitching details to our quilt card. And because of where I line them up, I can use the grid of that pattern paper to make nice straight stitching lines to the top. And then here is the finished card, and I just think this has a really fun homemade look.
I absolutely adore this sweet card, Shari. It reminds me of just a quilt, like I'm gonna be nice and warm under this sweet blanket in my house. I just love it so much. And our design team has used this paper in such cool and different ways. And first up, we're gonna see a stunning layout by Melissa. And she just makes the most beautiful layouts. And she took our stitched leaves and die cut them from all of the papers and created almost like a wreath look and stitched over them to secure them in place. And that's a perfect way to highlight her gorgeous photos in the center. So I really love the look of stitched leaves cut from these and I can't wait to try that myself. Next up, we have a super sweet card by Grace, and she used that awesome golden polka dot as her background and then the plaid as the base, and then took the colors from that and colored in her gnomes with them. This card by Audrey is so sweet, and I love that she cut the thanks so much from the polka dotted paper and then layered the houndstooth behind. It has such a cool look. Tammy used that brown plaid as her background, which looks so gorgeous with her super cute fall you autumn no mice. This card by Lynette is adorable. She brought back one of my favorite sets, Happy Harvest, and she die cut that thank you from the houndstooth, which looks so super cute. This paper works so great with new sets and older too. Letitia used the word paper as her background and then popped up her thanks so much for this beautiful clean and simple card that I am just in love with and can't wait to make one just like it. And then this card by Lynette is so sweet. She took out some more favorite older sets with those cute little barrel of apples and then she's got the apples on the bottom with her pattern paper and it's such a cute mix and match. And then this card by Melissa is adorable. I love how she's mixed that fun little chevron paper with our sweater weather word paper. So we can't wait to see how you guys use this paper Paper, how you die cut it, how you put it together. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!